It's almost spring, and that means the Rainbow Wahine are heading to the beach for another exciting season of collegiate sand volleyball. Going only into their third year in program history, the Bows opened their 2014 campaign March 7th and 8th at Queens Beach in Waikiki. UH will host dual matches against LMU, Stanford, and defending national champions Long Beach State before competing in the Rainbow Wahine Invitational. We caught up with former professional beach volleyball player and head sand volleyball coach Scott Wong to see what his outlook was on the 2014 season. The fall has been a great year um, in terms of our ability to train, break things down, to focus on the sand specific players and kind of their areas that they need to get better at. Um, and this spring we, we really turned it up a notch from last year. So um, the combination of the two seasons um, bringing us to March right now and getting us ready to play has been terrific. Yeah, I think every year it's a little different. Um, we've been working at going towards um, a sand only team with a little um, crossover from the indoor players. So we, we've, in terms of numbers, we've added some and we have also um, added some more um, experience, which um, translates hopefully into better competition during tournaments and stuff. So it should be a fun year with our, our current team. We, we really try to break down the difference of skills. Um, passing, it seems like it's similar, but it's a lot different setting. Um, we break down every skill and we try to just give them reps in terms of um, how to do the new skill on the sand. Um, and then also we try to let them play a lot because they need to do all the skills well. We can't just focus on one touch contacts. We try to do as many touches as we can. Um, so they're thinking the game and always having to kind of get outside of their comfort zone. We've, we've got a lot of experience this year, um, but two players that have the most experience um, in, in terms of playing tournaments are uh, Brittany Teagues. She actually had the red shirt last year. She was a transfer, um, and she came in third place in the first, uh, first year of beach competition uh, collegiately. So we're looking forward to her doing good things. Uh, Carissa Cook is a transfer from Stanford, and she's uh, in her fifth year. She's getting her master's degree in civil engineering. So she's, she's a bright player. She's very cerebral. She knows the game well. Um, and we're, we're expecting them together to do great things. Um, but we also have a, a couple other players that are, are solid. Uh, Katie Spieler, she's focusing on sand only, um, and she knows the game well too. So it's going to be a fun year with uh, our newcomers, but also our players that are able to play this year from last year's team. It was something that we focused on for the last two years. How do we play more games here? And especially against teams that are um, high caliber, you know, the, the country's best teams. And um, our staff really worked hard on, on raising money to reach out to co the community to, to really say, hey, we're, we're invested into this. We want to play in front of you guys. Can you guys invest with us? And we've had some great community support, some great boosters that have stepped up. We did a fun, Portuguese Horseshoe Tournament last year and raised a lot of money. Um, so we, we reached out to those schools that we wanted to come and said, hey, we want to have this be the place to play beach volleyball, to compete, to bring the best teams here. And a little history about beach volleyball, it'll start in here in Hawaii. So we want to perpetuate kind of the, the, the rich history in Hawaii in front of our fans. Um, something that our girls have worked so hard at to display um, our talents and skills. So we're excited about our schedule, how it's shaped up. We think it's kind of the beginning of a, a new um, leap towards hosting more here. So it's great to have two great tournaments here. So we need to be the top three um, schools from the West. And it's a tough thing because all the, the great schools are in the West. And the West has won the national championship in the last two years. Um, so we're, we're saying, hey, we need to play these teams early and often. So we're playing Pepperdine, we're playing Long Beach State, we're playing all the teams that have been competing for a championship. Um, and what we need to do is we need to prove to the committee that we're one of the best three schools from the West. Once that happens, anything can happen once we're in Gulf Shores, Alabama, where the national championship is. The focus has been always, let's build a great, um, let's build a great foundation. And We've kind of gone slowly in terms of let's get better every year, let's get better every year. And we started off with a real young team two years ago. Last year we were a little older, but this year we have a little more experience, but we only still have two seniors on the team. So all in all, we're, we're going in the right direction. Um, we've added some great players. We've also developed our talent that 
is on our team right now. So we're, we're all excited about where we're at and where we're going.